Morning, Frank. Um, let, let, let me just get you to characterise the numbers as you see them here, because obviously there are a lot of businesses in Bunzel that you can talk to us about. Um, share with us where the strength was and where you think the strength will be this year. Uh, good morning, Jeff. Karen, great to be on the programme. And, and before I answer your question, I really like to take the opportunity to thank our 20,000 people around the world who have gone above and beyond during the last 12 months, you know, supporting these frontline heroes in, in hospitals and healthcare institutions uh, around the world. People's safety was our, our first priority. I've been really proud about the vital role we played as a, as a business. Uh, going back to the second quarter, obviously, it was very unclear what was going to happen uh, to the business. So we were very careful. Uh, and as it evolved uh, over, the, over the year, we saw actually very uh, big differences in trends. Uh, we, the beauty of the Bonzo model is we are a very diversified business, which gives this very resilient performance. And we saw our food service business and our retail business under severe pressure because of the lockdowns in the world, you know, hotels closed, restaurants closed, catering companies closed. But on the other hand, our other businesses in sectors like cleaning and hygiene, healthcare and safety have been very strong. And overall, the business has done uh, very well. And we've seen that actually these trends happen until recently. It's a big jump in the dividend payout at this point. Um... You've also made acquisitions, though. Could you just share with us the board's thinking about the balance between holding money, paying money back to shareholders, and then using some to make further acquisitions? Well, the Bunsel story has been really a compounding story. If I look back uh, you know, to 2004, in the period 2004-2020, we made then 170, more than 170 acquisitions, spent about uh, 4 billion pounds on acquisitions, uh, but still, you know, paid significant amounts of, of dividend. We are operating in different markets around the world. There's still a significant opportunity to grow for us organically, but also by acquisition. And obviously, we'd like to spend the money on good quality businesses that strengthen our business further on. But we also have a progressive dividend. So even in a COVID year, 2020, we've been very pleased that we've been able to increase the dividend, which makes it the 28th year of dividend growth, about a 10% compound growth, which is fantastic. Frank, can I ask you about some of the COVID-19 related products, you know, gloves and masks, a very different uh, planning around this, obviously, in 2021 versus last year, where there was a, an incredible scale up that took place. This year, we've got lockdowns, then we've got reopening of economies. How are you planning around the, the various different demand scenarios you're likely to witness? Yeah, this is a very good question. And, and we're still very much into a situation where we see lockdowns. Uh, you know, in Europe, we've seen uh, a lot of lockdowns in certain areas of the, of the U.S. still. Actually, the only area that has been relatively open as an economy has been Australia. Uh, the big plus we see going forward, which is an important part of our product range, is cleaning and hygiene. And as you will probably understand this, is that the need for more sanitization, more spent on cleaning and hygiene, Will, will be really there. And we are selling these products in all the verticals, the market sectors. So expect cleaning and hygiene, uh, a good supporter of future healthy organic growth. Frank, I'm curious about those cleaning trends. You know, before this crisis, a uh, door might have been wiped down once for the day of that, but now several times a day uh, after usage. Uh, do you think these trends will, will stay with us as long as coronavirus stays with us? How, you know, how do you think about those changes? I think this will be a real structural trend. Um, you know, longer term, uh, people will continue to clean more. Uh, I can see for many years to come, people using masks on airports and in, in airplanes. And we see a similar trend in, into the sustainability area where we see, you know, changes from products to more sustainable, uh, you know, alternatives. So the trend of cleaning and hygiene, sustainability, but obviously, the acquisition growth is going to be substantial going forward. Currently, we are at the net debt to EBITDA of only 1.5.
We like to be between two and two and a half on the normal circumstances. So Bonsal has an enormous firepower for making uh, you know, significant acquisitions, and that will support our compounding growth going forward. So I'm very, very uh, confident in the future.